Complementary angles. Complementary angles are two angles that add up to 90 degrees. So how can we remember that complementary angles add up to 90 degrees? Well, if we write the number 90, there's actually a hidden C within it for complementary. Find the value of x. Since we know these two angles are equal to 90 degrees, we can use that information to create an equation. This equation would be 2x plus 30 is equal to 90. And hey, look, now we have a two step equation. So we have two steps to solve for x. The first step is to undo addition or subtraction. In this equation, we are adding 30. So we want to do the opposite of that to both sides. So what's the opposite of adding 30? If you were thinking, subtract 30, you're correct. So on the left side, we'll be left with 2x, and on the right side, 90 minus 30 is equal to 60. Now we have 2x is equal to 60. And the second step is to undo any multiplication or division. And there's a 2 in front of that x. This is called a coefficient. A coefficient is a number being multiplied by a variable. So that x is being multiplied by 2. And just like before, we want to do the opposite of that on both sides. So what is the opposite of multiplying by 2? If you were thinking, divide by 2, you are correct. And 2x divided by 2 is just x. And 60 divided by 2 is equal to 30. So x is equal to 30. Now I have two more problems I want you to try. I would recommend you pause the video, solve, and then resume when you're ready to see if your solutions are correct. All right, let's take a look. In the first one, x is equal to 35. And in the second one, x is equal to 18. If you had either of these incorrect, I would recommend you pause, review your work, and see if you can find your mistake. Supplementary angles. Supplementary angles are two angles that add up to 180 degrees. So how can we remember that supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees? Well, if we write the number 180, there's actually a hidden S right in the 8, which lets us know that supplementary angles add up to 180. Find the value of x. Since we know that these two angles are equal to 180 degrees, because they form a straight line, we can write an equation to help us find the value of x. This equation would be 4x plus 50 is equal to 180. And hey, look, now we have a two-step equation again. So we want to solve for x. The first step is to undo any addition or subtraction. If we look at the equation, we can see that there is addition, and they are adding 50. So we want to do the opposite of that. So what's the opposite of adding 50? If you said subtracting 50, you're correct. And we're going to do this on both sides of the equal sign. So on the left side, we'll be left with 4x, and 180 minus 50 is equal to 130. Now we have 4x is equal to 130. The second thing we want to do is undo multiplication or division. Well, just like before, we have a number in front of the variable. This is a coefficient, or a number being multiplied by a variable. So we want to do the opposite of that, and the opposite of multiplying by 4 is dividing by 4. 4x divided by 4 leaves us with x, and 130 divided by 4 is equal to 32.5. So x is equal to 32.5. I have two more problems I want you to try. I would recommend you pause the video, write the equations, solve, and then resume when you're ready to see if your solutions are correct.
All right, let's take a look. In the first problem, x is equal to 45. And in the second problem, x is equal to 37. If you had either of these incorrect, I would recommend you pause, review your work, and see if you can find your mistake. Thank you for watching.